Are you making this one fatal mindset mistake that's leading to a lot of misery, leading to emotional trauma, to pain, to you being stuck in your life and running in circles instead of actually accomplishing your goals, feeling great about yourself, and also having a great time with the people that you care about? Look, a lot of us tend to have this way of thinking where we put what we want on a pedestal. We make it very important. We do this to people, we do it to materialistic things, we can do it to pretty much anything. And the reason why is because we feel it's out of reach at the same time as the fact that it's been glorified by society. So maybe you want a really fancy expensive car, or maybe you want a nice house. Maybe you want this perfect relationship, or maybe you want to be friends with a cool celebrity that you look up to. What you'll do, naturally, is just put it above yourself, right? Kind of say, I'm not there, I'm not on that level, I don't deserve this, I'm not ready for this, there's no way I'm going to get this. And in the process of labeling, of structuring it that way, you've already set yourself up to lose. It makes it almost impossible to attain the thing that you want when the thing that you want is something that you feel undeserving of. If you feel undeserving of something, the universe, right? Or you yourself subconsciously will find a way to sabotage your progress, your growth, so that you don't get there. And so the way to reverse this and really exit this headlock and this grip that you've got on yourself is by saying, how would I feel if I had that thing or if I had that person as my friend right now? What would change in my emotional state? How would I carry myself differently? And often the answer is, the change wouldn't be that big. We imagine it to be some drastic shift, right? Finally, we will feel complete or whole or we'll be happy forever. And it's simply not true. You'll go back to being you very, very, very fast. No matter how much you achieve, no matter how much you accomplish, you'll always come back to being you. Now, if you work on yourself and your mindset and your habits, these are more long lasting changes. And so you wanna look at what can I do to become the type of person who is deserving of this, who feels worthy. And at the same time, you wanna question why you're making yourself feel like you're unworthy in the first place, because you're simply not. Nothing is above you, nothing is beyond you. There is nothing that you cannot achieve if you set your mind to it and really go all in. You have the capacity, you are a human being with unlimited potential, really. And all you have to do is tap into it and decide that you're going to find a way to make it happen. Now look, if you want help tapping into that great potential and you want me to personally support you and coach you and mentor you, as well as if you want to be a part of an amazing community of like-minded people, then simply go to eraphael.com and over there you can book yourself a free consultation with me personally. We'll talk, see how I can help you go to the next level in your life, build you a battle plan and a game plan of what you need to do next, and then maybe we'll be a good fit for working together and we can talk about that from there. Again, to claim that free call, go to eraphael.com and sign up through there. Now finally, I really want you to notice how you might be glorifying things in your life. People, objects, doesn't matter. What are you putting on the pedestal? What are you saying is far away or not very attainable for you? And look at that and really question it. If you don't question it, it will not change. If you continue to just put up with your own patterns and your own bullshit behavior, then you're going to continue to repeat that loop and repeat that spiral and get the same outcome in your life because so much of what you really get is a result of how you think. And if you think in a flawed way, in a way that leads you into being stuck, then it's almost impossible to take action your way out of it. No matter how hard you work, you can't outrun yourself. It doesn't matter if you put in 12 hours or 16 hours a day, and I've experienced this firsthand. Back seven years ago when I started building my business, I worked so hard and almost had no progress. And I know that nowadays I can make one decision or two simple choices or work for a couple hours and it'll have a drastic impact on my bottom line and the amount of people that I'm able to positively affect, really everything. So you have to start thinking better. If you think better, you'll live better, you'll be happier, and you'll make a greater positive difference in the world. And that's what I want for you. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know and I'll catch you on the next one.